So our community is like stepping into the closet of Narnia. You see these beautiful drag queens. You see the women of trans experience. But it's definitely like a community within a community and it's definitely a safe zone for us. is a subculture. It's an event that has categories that deal in dance, fashion, social class. In it, you basically win prizes and trophy. But more to me, ballroom is a freedom of self-expression in the LGBT community. It's our only place where we get to feel comfortable where we get to be 100% genuine, where we get to be that delicate rose petal. That rose petal is sensitive, it's beautiful. E e a, a, a rose is made out of like 30 petals and each each petal signifies that whole beauty and that whole, the whole rosebud, you know what I'm talking about? You know, everyone's a petal, but all together, like my house, we make a rose. A lot of people come because they want to be worshipped and they want to be adored. For like me personally, when I was a child, somewhere along the line, I didn't feel as much love and appreciation as I wanted. So I came to the ballroom scene and got a bit of limelight and got a bit of appreciation and felt acknowledged and seen. regular society, you know, when I walk down Wall Street or when I walk down Soho, people see me and they be like, oh my gosh, this big black, and I'm saying, no, 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 oh I'm saying no, this big black gay homosexual person is stepping out of their line because now I'm wearing female clothes and I, I do my hair like this and I wear makeup and they're like, oh my God, we know you're, oh my God. This is why it's very important to have a diverse show on program Hello. television right now because when you have a diverse program like My House, it gives people a different type of spectrum of different way of looking at things and it also makes them think and gives them different ideas. It's like what's happening now in these moments because it's evolved so much. You know, before they were trying to be in magazines and, and do big things. Just seen, seen period. Exactly, that we are actually doing now. Nine times out of 10, I was told no. I knew that there was still a one yes out there and I had to motivate myself and keep myself pushing forward because I had to tell people, I have a voice and I'm, I'm not scared to use it no more. There's people out there that might not have a voice and might not be able to use it. So we come to ballroom and it helps us. It builds up our confidence. It helps us sharpen our creative skills so that we actually can do things outside of it. The ballroom is really a community about home, about house, about love and feeling. And if you want to see all of that, my house, 1030, Wednesdays, right, Paris? Every Wednesday. Wednesdays, be there or be nowhere. Baby. And let me just tell y'all something now. Like <laughs> if you ain't watching, you ain't keeping up with times because like we said, every Wednesday, 1030, you're not doing nothing. You're at home. You're probably calling your ex. Don't call your ex. Watch us on Viceland TV. It's gonna be popping.